What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you're watching my extras channel. I got another par test video for you today, Sunrays sent me over their LED grow light, and in this video I will unbox the unit, and also measure the power output using my Apogee MQ500 par meter. This meter measures from 389 nanometers to 692 nanometers, plus or minus 5 nanometers, and the measurements are in PPFD. Let's just get right into the unboxing. First thing out the box is this thank you card. After that, there's a user manual. Next up is one light ratchet hanger, one wire hanging kit, and a five foot power cord. Pulling out the light, I was a little bit surprised by the size of it because the listing says it's for a three foot by three foot grow space. That's their core coverage area. However, it was the same size light as some of the other lights I have part tested for a two foot by two foot area. So like the grow star light and the minger light that I did part tests on, both of those lights are the same size as this one, but it does say on the listing that they're using 90 degree lenses. So we'll see how those lenses reflect light onto a three foot by three foot grow space. I'm not gonna talk about all of the grow lights features in this video, but I will leave a link in the description section below so you can learn more. This LED grow light has two switches on it, one for veg and one for bloom. I plugged the LED grow light into my kilowatt meter and turned on the veg switch and it is pulling 121 watts. Then I turned off the veg switch and just turned on the bloom switch and it is pulling 50 watts. Then I flipped both the veg and the bloom switches on and the unit is pulling 164 watts. I hung the light in a four foot by four foot grow tent, but like I said, the core coverage area for this light is three foot by three foot. So I try to keep my par meter within a three foot by three foot space. This par test is just really to give you a general idea of what the par output is for this light. It's not gonna be 100% accurate. The reflective walls could increase the numbers, so just keep that in mind. According to the user manual, the manufacturer recommends a distance of no closer than 20 inches. So that'll be the first measurement that I take. And then also do measurements at 24 inches and 36 inches. All right, let's get into the measurements.
What do you think of these measurements? Let me know in the comment section below. And I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.